Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We've got Sam with us tonight. Oh, yeah. We're heading down the lighthouse with a pool pond and a ton of fishing tackle. So hopefully we can actually catch something. It's Smash Fishing, baby. Woo! Check this out for a possible disaster. <laughs> We've got two rods each. We've got the crab pot. We've got two crab wheels. And a paddling pool. We've got Sam's paddling pool. <laughs> and we've got an absolute monster amount of bait. And a crab. Check this out for bait guys. We've got a beautiful big pollock there. I say big, it's about four pounder. We've got big chunks of pelt from the wrecks and loads of mackerel. Loads of fresh mackerel I caught a couple of days ago. So hopefully, between all this, we can catch something. We've got the two wheels with us today guys we're gonna bait them heavily with loads of pelt and pollock nice big chunks hopefully we can get a good catch out of it we've thrown the crab pot out as you've seen big guns <laughs> only another 30 more buckets to go sam <laughs> we're almost there yeah almost not even halfway sam's just had first catch of the night check these bad boys out we got some limpets. <laughs> We've obviously knocked them off the wall. And look at that. Looks like it's got a little face in there. <laughs> we'll leave them in here for now. They can join our aquarium for the night. Got the conga gear on today, guys. It's a big barrel swivel, 200 pound trace to an ATO hook. Beautiful big chunk of fresh mackerel. It's on a little breakaway here, so if the lead gets snagged, it'll snap off and we can land the fish, hopefully. What a beast. The first pull of the night. Come on, Sam. Hopefully we can strike lucky, first throw. <laughs> Is there anything in it? Oh, massive crab. Nice bites. All I'm doing is just lowering the rod down, just like that. Oh That's yeah, it's a, a nice one. Oh, look at the fight in that. Oh yeah, getting them off the bottom, eh? Come on, first fish of the night. Not a bad one. That one's definitely worthy of the bull one. I think <laughs> so, how are we going to get it up here? I think it's flipping. You reckon? It's not that big, is it? I don't know. Give it a go. <laughs> I'll stand back. This could be a fail. How big is it? Looks about 10. I don't know. Yeah, it's not that big. The battery died, guys. <laughs> I've literally, I've tried to flip the, the fish up and it hit the wall and went back down. That was lucky. We could lose this. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> nice. There we go. One conga down. Happy days, let's get it in the pool pond. Check that out for a beast, guys. First thing in the pool pond. We're not going to keep it in here very long. As you can see, it's just reviving nicely. Lovely to see, though, eh? Yeah, nice fish. I love it when we do these pool ponds. Hopefully, we can get a nice big one. We're going to start filling up the pool now if the congas are around. Hopefully, we can get a nice big one in here. When it comes to conga fishing, fresh bait is definitely king, for sure. This was caught two days ago, fresh as anything, and it really does, it gives off something different. Fresh bait for any sort of big fish, that's exactly what you want. It's a cracking bait. Hopefully, that's going to catch the grandma. There's always something fascinating about seeing them in a pool like this. You get to appreciate the fish a lot more. It's a lovely eel, very good condition as well hook came out nicely that's what you want this will be going back shortly sam's just popped off to the shop 
and we'll get this bad boy back. And what we're doing is we're chucking fresh buckets of water in all the time, just refreshing it because we don't want it going stagnant. And these things can happily just chill out here until we return them. Just reeled my rod in and we've got this one's little cousin. <laughs> little tiny conga there, hooked perfectly as well, right in the lip so it'll go back really easily. That's what you want to see. Nice little whip. I'll chuck this one back. This one ain't going in the pool. <laughs> what a cool little fish. There we go. Straight back she goes. New species of the night. <laughs> you got the infamous dogfish. That's going straight in the pool pond. There's only hooked in the lip. There you go guys, little dogfish there, lesser spotted dogfish, they're lively, you can see this conga's started to pick itself up, swimming around nicely, so we're going to let this go now, without getting bitten hopefully, been in there long enough now eh mate? Yeah. There you go guys, one little show, not a massive conga, about seven pound would you give that? Yeah, six, seven pound. Yeah, so we'll get it back and hopefully we can catch a monster. Check the mouth out on that. Something out of Alien versus Predator. I don't know why that's floppy. I reckon that's going to molt soon. That's strange. But hey, let's put it back. Oh, you got a crab. Oh, that's a keeper, isn't it? Surely. on the small side but it's a crab and it's not lifeless <laughs> it's got a bit more life in it this one yeah oh at least we're catching them mate yeah nice let's get this one in the pool pond hopefully we can catch a big one <laughs> it's a few more species there best friends forever best friend We are gathering up the species. That's one dogfish and one spider crab. I love this. Keeps them nice and fresh. And you get to admire the species as you catch them. I'm glad we let the conga go early. Nice and revived. Same as the dogfish. You can see they stay alive perfectly fine in here. As long as we're just chucking fresh buckets of water in, there's no reason these won't stay alive for a very long time. Come on, can we finally catch a big crab? Oh, that's oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, that's not bad at all. Oh, this is a nice crab. Yeah, this is a nice one, mate. Don't lose it. <laughs> finally, hey. they're still around. That's a beauty, mate. That's a nice one. It's Barnacle Bob. Look at the barnacles <laughs> on him. Oh, well done, Sam. Cheers, mate. That's a lovely crab. Not a bad one. He's got an enemy stuck to his leg as well. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Lovely to see. That's a solid crab. I bet it's quite heavy. Yeah, quite a nice one. Yeah. Happy days. In, in the, the pool pond she goes. In the pool pond she goes. We're happy we've got a keeper. Yeah. Not too bad at all. Not feeling heavy? Oh, I can see a crab. Another crab. Oh, it's another decent one. Not a bad one. Oh, another keeper. <laughs> That's not a bad crab at all. There we go. Another beauty down. Not monsters by any means, but they're lovely crabs. Good eating size, eh, mate? Definitely. Lovely. In the pool pond you go. Ah, that looks well cool, eh? Jeez. Nice. Now we're catching.
Sam's crabs doing a runner. <laughs> there you go. What's that little female? Look how dark red that is. That's well red, eh? Yeah, really red. Maybe it's so late in the season, maybe? I don't know. Could be. Look at that, guys. Lovely colours on that. See all the sponges promoting the growth of the seaweed. As they get bigger, they don't do this so much, but when they're young, you get a lot of them like that. All camoed up. See you later. Oh, another crab. Another crab. Not big enough that one. It's a male, yeah. Yeah. On the male. That one claw, that one. One claw male. Really solid crab, though, eh? Yeah. You can see by the colour of its shell how solid it is. I'll chuck this one in the pool pond. We'll let them all go in a minute. Be free. <laughs> Love it. This is how they sit when they mate, eh? Hey? They all yeah, pull yeah, up like this. Together. It's crazy. You get this a lot, guys, in the deeper water, or even in the shallows as well, where the crabs, all the females and males, would be balled up together in a massive mound, and they'd be molting, they'd be breeding. Crazy to see. Sam, to lift the crab pot. <laughs> you done it. <laughs> What's the life? You, you lost, so I think you should have to pull it. <laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> no, I want to keep all the lobsters for myself, so I'll put it. Why not? What are you saying? Um, I reckon we got two, two spider crabs, a couple of little velvet swimming crabs, and an undersized lobster. Oh, I'm saying a few brown crabs and a lobster. Oh, a keeper. A keeper. A keeper. Keeper lobster. Oh. Oh. We will find out. Got some big guns. It's always fun bringing a crab pot, guys. You never know what's going to be in it. Could be absolutely anything or nothing. Oh, we got a conga. <laughs> Woohoo! And, and a lobster. lobster. <laughs> yeah, boy, and a brown and a crab. Shanker. Yeah. Nice. Not bad. Check that out, guys. <laughs> we got a conga, a lobster, and a brown crab. That's awesome to see. I only put two mackerel heads in there as well. Check that out. What a beast. So we get this untied and we get you a better show. Right well on, mate. Nice. There you go, pin it. Oh, nearly. There's something called tailing, guys, where you bring the tail of the conger out, pin it to the crab pot, and it will, it will literally snake its way backwards through your hand. Oh, oh, nearly. There you go. <laughs> lively. Yeah, lively. We get that one in the pool pond. Why not? I'll grab your lobster there, Sam. Cheers, mate. Look at that. We got a little Larry. <laughs> go for it. What would you give that? Five pounder? I'd say about six or seven again, similar to the one you caught. Yeah, before. very similar. Look at that, guys. Now we've got the species, and here comes Larry. Boom! <laughs> Check that out for a pool pond. Now we got some species. We're going to go to a beach in a minute, guys, and we're going to cook up. Rod. Oh, we need a gaff. Oh, no. We need a gaff. Oh, it might be in the weed. That looks big. That's a big one. That's a big fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's frightened. Don't lose it. Oh, I just hope he stays on. Come on. Oh, That's nice head one. lunges, look at that. That's a nice one. Oh, yeah. You should see him a glimpse of him soon. Yeah, here it comes. There we go. That's a nice eel. Nice one. Happy days. You can't flip that one. Nope. <laughs> We've got a long trek to the steps. <laughs> Woohoo! That's a nice eel, that one. Definitely. That well done. Arm burn. <laughs> I'm not surprised, it's a long trek. He keeps fighting me though, he wants to go back down. Nice. Not a bad eel at all. Oh, hooked in the side of the mouth. You beauty. I'll give the guys a show. Oh ho! 
First time conger fishing in a while and boom, <laughs> got a half decent one. Is it gonna cooperate for now? Look at that. That's not a bad eel at all, that. Hook awesome. right in the side of the mouth. This one's gonna go back perfectly. So we'll quickly take it back where we can we can get the hook out properly. And then we'll give you another show and we'll release this bad boy. No point putting it in the pond, it's bigger than our pond. <laughs> <laughs> the fish are turned on, guys. Sam's got a really good bite, so... So this conga is going in the pool pond for a minute until we can show you... Oop. There we go. We're gonna have to keep him in there just for a second. Sam's got a really good bite. We almost forgot about Mr. Brown Crab. Oh, Sam's getting a bite. Oh, missed him. Oh, I'm lucky. This one can say goodbye. <laughs> Check the pool pond out now, guys. That's looking epic. We've got two nice congas. One's about 15, one's about, I don't know, six, seven. And we got a whole line up here of crustaceans. We've got a lobster. We've got all of our spider crabs and our little dogfish. Look at that. They're all reviving nicely. That's the beauty of a conga. You can see how thick my hand is. That's a lovely, that's a beast. That's a beautiful fish. Last pull of the night, Sam. Last pull, let's see. Hoping for the glorious ending of a giant octopus. <laughs> well, I hope so. <laughs> That'd be nice. Nothing? Nope. Nothing in that one. Wow. The last wheel. Old faithful. Old faithful. <laughs> Oh, that's the collar. Oh, there's a spider crab. There's a little baby one. Look at that poor little beast. Little spine. When they're small like this, the spines, they really get you. Check that, all the way around them. And they're like thorns, some of them. They'll get you. We're gonna start letting these fish go guys. We had a big panic, Sam's rod went off before so we had to chuck it in here quick. I'm glad we did because we got a good look at it, eh? Yeah. But what we're gonna to. do is start releasing some of the creatures now. So we've got the dogfish, as you can see, everything is perfectly alive. We've been changing the water out a lot. Rod's going. See you later, Larry. Last minute fish, eh Sam? Maybe, what is it? Is it a seaweed? Can't see. Yeah, seaweed. <laughs> There's a big clump of seaweed and someone's mackerel feathers. <laughs> and a new weight. Oh, there you go. Bonus. Look at that, what are those? Oh, it's some little tube lure. That's cool. Obviously someone's trying to catch mackerel and pollock. Now Sam's got a free weight. I like it. <laughs> There you go, guys. Nice Lovely one, size eel. About 15 pound, they sound. Yeah, Around definitely. That. Lovely. Look at the size of the head on that thing. What a monster. Right, let's get it back. Thanks for popping along, Mrs. Lovely job. Last of all, well last that's going back is the two spider crabs. We've got two keepers for me and Sam to munch on. Happy days, you looking forward to some spider crab? Oh definitely, can't wait. Beautiful. Lovely bit of crab to munch on, eh mate? Lovely. We've knocked the shell off guys, because we're going to be cooking this in the next few minutes. 
Well, I say a few minutes, about 20 minutes. Tsunami! Beautiful. <laughs> what we're doing for this, guys, we're just doing a very simple cook up. Shout out to the subscriber who sent me Tub of Old Bay. I haven't had this in ages. Just turn my light off. So I got banned from Old mm. Bay for putting on the Christmas meal, like so. Yep. <laughs> what we're doing, guys, just putting a bit of water in the pan. And we're getting the good old bay. Get a good pile of that in there. And once that gets to a nice heat, oh, that's getting hot already. We got our crabs in. Oh, it smells good, eh? Miss that smell. Fresh spider crab, eh? While yeah. the sun's coming up. Half four in the morning. Can't go wrong. We might need a bigger pot. <laughs> <laughs> it could be a, a two cooking. Just gonna have to cook them twice. Do you reckon? Yeah. There's Indeed. no way. <laughs> well, it looks like we're doing two cooks, guys. <laughs> we'll get this one cooked up. We'll chuck the other one in while we're eating this one. It's smelling absolutely delicious. Not long now, eh, mate? No, I can't wait, I'm starving. Yeah, <laughs> same. Sun's coming up, some fresh crab. Bon appetit, Sam. Thank you very much. Oh. Got half a crab each at the moment. We'll finish the rest off later. But check that out full of the old bay seasoning and that is really hot look at that delicious juice It's the old bay. It's nice, eh? Mm. Goes with fish really well. Warming, eh? What's it? It's gone four in the morning, eh? Yes, yeah, about quarter to five. Now. Quarter to five in the morning. Sun's just coming up. We're enjoying some nice spider crab on a German bunker. Quite an entertaining night, really. Yeah. It's been a slow start, but yeah. finished off pretty well, eh? That's it. You had a nice seal at the end. A few eels, we had a few spider crabs. Lobster in the crab pot. Lobster. Not a bad trip at all. This is probably going to be the last spider crab cook of the season yeah, as well, Yeah, literally. Eh? Unless we get the odd stragglers. But they definitely seem to be moving out now. Yeah, it's definitely getting harder work to find them. Oh. What a view this morning. Mm, lovely, eh? High tide as well. Can't beat it. So peaceful this time in the morning, eh? Really nice. I'm just picking through the shell at the moment, guys. Amazing how much meat you get out of those knuckles, eh? Oh yeah, loads. This was really tasty. Really tasty. No, I overdid it with the old bay, but I'm glad I did. Yeah, no, I think it added really nice flavour to it. Really good. Yeah. This is pure savage eating. <laughs> I won't leave you guys any longer. You enjoyed this trip, mate? Yeah, big time. Very, this was really a great good. one. Hey, even the cook as well. We got the sunrise, bit of crab. We've actually spent a long time just not even talking into just, the camera. Just munching. We were just munching on the crab, but hey, hey, if you want to check out the merch, the link's in the uh, description, guys. If you want to check out Sam's Instagram, the link's in the description as well. So stay tuned for the next episode. There's going to be plenty more to come. It's fast fishing, baby. Woo!
like cavemen eating these crabs. <laughs> Must eat crab. Must eat crab. Nice and fun, this crab, eh? 